It was a sunny day, approximately a few minutes before one o'clock. Uh, a lot of employees in the building, contractors. Uh, we had a big meeting scheduled, um, and our subject just walks in the main lobby. Because of our past experience with him, our security personnel pretty much knew right away who he was. When a violent environmental extremist took hostages at Discovery Communications headquarters, years of collaboration and preparation paid off. Through community policing and engagement with many different partners, the Montgomery County Police Department dealt with the emergency effectively. I think it's very important to develop relationships on the front end before a crisis occurs, and it will help you through the uh, crisis itself. I actually protested Discovery in 2008, and I think that shared experience with Montgomery County Police really kind of bonded us together. We all knew who we were dealing with. When Discovery was being built, our patrol officers purposely toured that building. They had already developed contacts and relationships there. So when the incident occurred, we were able to immediately get information. Discovery had some information on the individual in question. There was a seamless transfer of information that they had. In regards to recognizing uh, the police officers, that was a critical piece because the one plainclothes, obviously off-duty officer carrying a rifle running through our sensory garden, I mean, if you put it in perspective, it certainly could have caused a lot more confusion, scared a lot of people. Fortunately for us, one of our security team members knew exactly who he was, uh, yelled to the building engineer, let him in. And I think once he got in the building and we gave that download, I think that really helped at least a little bit, kind of let us breathe easier that we knew, okay, things, you know, we're getting this under control, so to speak. If we can intervene in somebody's life and prevent something bad from happening, that's great. Um, but uh, it, this was not just about uh, law enforcement. It was about really community safety. To ensure community safety, the Montgomery County Police Department works vigilantly to establish community relationships from organizations within county government to faith-based groups. It's important to engage with the community because I've got 1,300 cops and I've got a million residents. And if we are going to have the kind of outreach and have the kind of impact in our entire community, we, we need partners. Every invitation I get from uh, the business community, the faith community, you name it, anybody that invites me to come be a part of their meeting or speak to their group, I'm there. And then once you're there, you've got to listen. By us listening, we learn. Uh, just as importantly, they can learn from us and there's a shared responsibility there. Well, I think uniform is important because image, I believe, is important. And one thing about a, a uniform is they're not necessarily looking at the name per se. When you wear a uniform, you're representing an entire agency. We have this faith working group, and it has uh, pastors and clergy from every uh, religion, every denomination that you, that you can think of. This is really our coalescing force because it brings all of the diverse community groups together, but it also serves as a platform to bring the other county agencies in into partnership in terms of the school system, the health and human services, an office of emergency management and homeland security, fire and rescue. It's a collaborative arrangement for us to become more aware of how the community can be involved in public safety and also to intervene in the lives of vulnerable adults and children. And the great news here is that that allows us to get our message out and really have this program reach um, just about everybody in our community. I think the community really appreciates the role the police have played. They participate in all of our committee meetings. They attend all of our events and they're truly partners in this endeavor. They don't um, push their ideas forward. They are equal partners. We do connect with um, different communities in need and um, children who are experiencing violent extremism are also part of families where there is need. And our role in many ways is to be the connective tissue in some ways because families have needs and we're able to meet those needs and build a certain amount of trust. 
It's a preventative model, so it's not de-radicalization, but it's preventing violent extremism by addressing the risk factors of vulnerable individuals. So if you've got one set of eyes and ears with one officer, that means you've also got about a thousand sets of eyes or ears within the community itself. There are some red flags that parents or school teachers or, or you know, perhaps the faith community can, can recognize that the police would never see because we don't have the personal relationship or, or interaction with some of these young folks that the schools do and, and other folks do and parents do. We typically work with children who are at risk. So children who are truant, not going to school, where parents are reporting that the kid feels disengaged, is constantly watching violent videos, suddenly becoming disenchanted with the world around them. I've been a police officer now for 38 years, and I can tell you that the way we do things today and the partnerships that we create really have, have allowed us to become more effective. I think you only need to look at um, the, the uh, decline in our crime rate nationwide to see that the strategies that we're employing, uh, the technology that we have at our disposal today, but really the relationships that we are building in the community have gone a long way in support of that decline in crime. I'm a huge fan of community policing. I think it works in every jurisdiction I've ever been in. I think they do it well here. Terrific, actually. Enormous trust. I can call the chief at any point. He picks up the phone and calls me. Given long-standing partnerships with the community, the Montgomery County Police Department continues its quest for safety and peace in its community while always looking for answers when a crisis occurs. One of the things that we do when we have those kinds of cases, after they're done, you want to find out, okay, how did this happen? How did this person get to the point where they were doing these kinds of things? And were there any red flags? Was there an opportunity for us to, to intervene at some point for us to find out about this, you know, what this person was doing, what this person was planning. Um, could we have, have prevented this? From those learning experiences, advice is offered to other police departments. Set in place some type of protocol whereby all members can have a voice and updates and information can be shared as it relates to where you're going and then be patient. You need to seek out folks that probably wouldn't ever come to you and, and talk to you. You need to seek those folks out and ask them questions, draw that information out of them so that they know that you, you care about them, that the police department cares about them and their safety, uh, cares about everyone in the community. Very often, I think people want to have the biggest and the best right away, whatever that may look like, but it takes time. and so. My advice is to find the people that have the, you know, the least amount of trust and confidence in the police and engage them. It, it, it'll pay great dividends.